I'm Denny Morrison. I'm a Canadian long track speed skater in the 1500 meters and the 1000 meters. I've been speed skating basically my whole life. I'm 23 years old now and I've been skating for about 20 years. My parents put me into it uh, just to learn to skate so that to sort of prepare me for hockey. I never really went the hockey route in the end and stuck with speed skating and moved to Calgary when I was 17 after I graduated and I've been skating there with the national team ever since. Me and my brother have always been there to sort of push each other. He started speed skating when he was four and I started when I was three just a year later. So every year of my life He's always been there, bigger, stronger, faster, and someone for me to look up to. And uh, whatever he achieved two years prior to me being that age, I would want to achieve that same goal or break that same record when I was that age. So it made it easy for me to set goals all along the way without even knowing it, kind of chasing him and chasing what he's accomplished. I think it was about in grade five, I went to the North American Championships and won North American Championships, and I thought, wow, I'm the best for my age in North America. Maybe I could uh, win Olympic gold. And so that's what sort of, it was the first time I thought Olympic gold was uh, one of my long-term goals. The most exciting moment for me um, must have been winning the World Championships in 2008. I was competing in Nagano, Japan. It would probably have to be my most perfectly executed race. And I was racing Sven Kramer and he's more of a long distance skater. So I had a slower opener than me starting in the inside lane. So I knew that if I went really fast on the opener, coming to that crossover, I'd be able to get right in behind him. And I tucked right into his jet stream on the first lap. And I saved so much energy skating behind him. And then after the first lap, I was about two seconds ahead. And by the end of the race, I knew he has a really strong finish because he's a long distance skater, whereas I'm more of a thousand meter skater. So with one lap to go, he was coming from the inside to the outside in front of me. And this time, I could tell he was going faster than me. And instead of just letting him go and, and saying, oh, this race is over, he's got me, I just did my damnedest to chase him down and uh, had the last inner. We came out almost even. And I've never worked so hard in my life. And I beat him by a tenth of a second and got the gold medal. Perfect timing to win a world championship. When you're racing, you never really know if you're going to win the race or not, but sometimes if you're really close to a really fast pair and you're in the back stretch, you can kind of tell that you're, you're going faster than them with 200 meters to go. It, it gives you some confidence going into the last turn, um, but you can, never, you can never quit. You can never get them up until you cross that line and you're all the way through and uh, you've given it everything you have. Even in training throughout the season for me, it's, it's always this training today has to be the best training I can make it today because I know my competitors are doing whatever they can to train better than me today. I like the training days where it's like hill sprints, 18 sets of two minute hill sprints where we're just making ourselves sick to our stomachs on the sixth set and then we have 14 more to go. That's challenging the expected right there. I set lots of goals, whether they're short term or long term. Obviously, my long term goals of winning Olympic gold in Vancouver are becoming short term goals as we uh, grow closer to the games. But my whole life, ever since grade five, right? That's Olympic gold, that's what I want. Just a big thank you, a big shout out to all the Molson employees who've uh, worked so hard and uh, done so much to support me. Um, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys watch me in 2010 and I hope to do Molson proud. Cheers.